What is up guys, and uh, today on Review is Round, we're going to be reviewing the one and only Mountain Dew Frostbite. Alright, alright, alright. So, I don't know if you guys are uh, friends with me on Facebook, or on my Facebook group, but I do like taste reviews. I've done like multiple, I've done like, I have two seasons. There was, and I do yearly seasons, so I've done it for like two years now, where I've done taste reviews. And I did in Frostbite, and this was the description I literally gave it. So, oh boy, Mountain Dew, you did it again. Liberty Brew, let's retry that statement. Liberty Brew was the sweetest one so far, but you had to come out of nowhere and surprise us with the Frostbite just to get us the, just to get us out of the corn to blues. Uh, it kind of reminds me of the Blue Jolly Rancher flavor. And that's what I said. Um, I did also have more descriptions, but I just wrote down the more important key details of what I wrote down for the taste review. Uh, like um, I wrote down like like the taste review was just like yeah, not only I like this because of the texture and blah blah blah, but it's Mountain Dew blah blah blah, and I like the Mountain Dew series, but multiple different other stuff. And uh, yeah, so the way I could describe this drink to you. is if it was the Mountain Dew flavor mixed in with a Blue Jolly Rancher type of taste. So it kind of reminds me of like a Voltage type of flavor with the regular Mountain Dew flavor with like a hint of Jolly Rancher or Blue Jolly Rancher flavor. Now I don't know if you guys basically like you know care for that but um it's it's pretty, it was, it like, I don't know if you guys have heard, like, drank this one, heard of this Mountain Dew flavor, or even care for, or, like, hate this Mountain Dew flavor, but the can is pretty awesome, too. So, you basically, on the can is, like, graphic, it's just, like, in a winter, in a winter place, and then a shark just comes out of nowhere, out of, like, a lake. The Frostbite uh, logo is just, like, kind of cool, because you got, like, the frost, and then the bite, and the frost is in blue, the bite is in red. The Mountain Dew, the mountain is in blue, and the dew is in red. So they have like a front, basically, uh, like, you know, um, a front, like, uh, repetition where like, you know, the first, uh, the first, uh, word in the sentence is blue and the second one is red. And then it continues to have like a snowy, like wintry type of condition place. And then the shark just coming out of nowhere about to bite the words of frostbite with its mouth. So it's literally, and it came out of, it came out and, um, it was like March 2020 or like I think it was like it was like May or it was it's like either May or March 2020 I don't know like I don't really know but I do know that this drink like I said it came out this year like when quarantine was basically a big huge thing I don't know if like um if Pepsi company basically decided to do that or if they were just basically planning on just basically saying hey we're going to release this part and then we're basically going to have it where you know people cannot have quarantine blues and you know blues as is like oh it's a blue drink you know it's uh it's winter versus summer or I don't know like that's that was the type of compelling part but it is part of the original Mountain Dew flavors because there's the Mountain Dew flavors, then the Kickstart flavors, then the Game Fuel flavor, Game Fuel flavors, then the Mountain Dew and Ant flavors. So it's pretty interesting. But yeah, guys, take a look at this because like Voltage is like a lighter blue. This is more of like a darker, darker like ocean type of blue, and it is pretty good. Like that's all I gotta say. The, the texture of it is pretty good. The name of it is good because Frostbite is whenever you get like um when your hands get frozen and the name of it is pretty good so it's overall it's, it's a pretty good drink I would give this drink like a I'd give it an 8 out of 10 um the only reason why I do this I'm giving like drink reviews like you know different types of stuff but I give like this like uh, taste of it pretty good because like voltage it's pretty good uh, but I think this would be better. I think this is overall a better type of voltage, or like a better drink, a better design, a better name, and a better marketing stra like strategy than when it came like when and then it came out than Voltage did. Don't get me wrong, Voltage is a pretty good drink with those you know the flavors and stuff, but this one is better. And the only thing that stays on there is it's naturally and artificially uh, 
you know, flavored dew. So, unlike all the other, like, Mountain Dews, it doesn't say, like, you know, dew flavored with, dew, like, with, like, a citrus or, like, a, you know, ginseng flavor. Not, like, a Voltage or, like, the original, original, original three type of flavors. So, yeah, this one was kind of like a Liberty to Brew. Liberty to Brew kind of, like, reminded me of, like, a, of, like, a, uh, of, a. Uh, but no um yeah so far i've done three videos with the frostbite the um the mountain dew versus mountain dew frostbite the mountain dew uh frostbite review and then the mount or the uh the chug jug uh jerry picks edition so guys go in the comments on this video see how like what you think about frostbite because frostbite is pretty pretty good but yeah It gets you that taste like a ah, kind of felt like a like a bandlands chugs like ah. but no you guys uh go subscribe to the channel around the day dreams i salute you guys out and always be a slump